Imagine a bird in the sky, soaring high and free. Suddenly, it stops flapping its wings and begins to drop, hurtling towards the ground. A similar phenomenon can happen to an airplane, thousands of feet up in the sky. This is known as an airplane stalling. In this dramatic scenario, the airplane, much like the bird, loses its ability to generate lift. The airflow over the wings gets disrupted, causing a loss of lift. This happens when the plane's angle of attack, which is the angle between the wing and the oncoming air, increases too much. At a critical angle, usually around 15 degrees, the smooth flow of air over the wing separates, and the wing can no longer generate enough lift to support the plane. As the plane stalls, its controls may become sluggish or less responsive. Without the lift, the plane begins to descend, much like the bird falling from the sky. The gravity of the situation is palpable. But remember, pilots are trained to respond to such situations, and modern aircraft come equipped with advanced technology to prevent and recover from stalls. That, in essence, is what happens when an airplane stalls. To understand why a plane stalls, we first need to understand how a plane flies. It's all about achieving and maintaining lift. Picture a bird in flight. It angles its body and wings to catch the wind just right, creating an upward force that counters gravity. This is the concept of lift. An aircraft works on the same principle, with its wings designed to generate lift as they move through the air. Now consider the angle of attack. Think of it as the tilt of the plane's wings against the oncoming air. Much like our bird, the plane needs to maintain a certain angle to the wind to stay aloft. Typically this is around 15 degrees, but what happens if this angle increases too much? Well, that's when we encounter a problem. When the angle of attack becomes too steep, the smooth flow of air over the wing is disrupted. The wing can't generate enough lift to support the plane, causing a loss of lift. When this happens, the plane's controls may become sluggish or less responsive, and without lift, the plane begins to descend. This is what we call a stall, but fear not, pilots are trained to handle this. To recover from a stall, the pilot must decrease the angle of attack by pushing the nose down and increase speed by adding power. This way the plane can regain lift and resume normal flight. So a stall is essentially a disruption of the balance between the angle of attack and lift. It's a critical part of flight dynamics, but thanks to rigorous training and advanced technology, it's a rare occurrence in commercial aviation. So what exactly happens when a plane stalls, you might ask? Well, let's delve into the sequence of events that transpire during a stall. First, the wings of the aircraft lose their ability to generate lift. This is because the smooth flow of air over the wings is disrupted, leading to an abrupt loss of lift. Now, imagine trying to steer a car on a slippery road. Your controls would feel sluggish, wouldn't they? The same happens with an airplane during a stall. The plane's controls become less responsive, making it harder for the pilot to maneuver the craft. And then it begins, the descent. Without lift, the plane starts to fall. It's a bit like a leaf fluttering down from a tree, only much larger and faster. It's a surreal moment where tons of metal previously defying gravity surrender to its pull. And so, without lift, the plane becomes a massive object falling from the sky. A stall might sound like a pilot's worst nightmare, but it's something they're extensively trained to handle. When an aircraft enters a stall, the first order of business is to regain control. This requires a cool head and a clear understanding of the aircraft's behavior. The key to this recovery is twofold, decreasing the angle of attack and increasing speed. Let's break that down. The angle of attack refers to the angle between the wing's cord line and the oncoming airflow. When this angle becomes too steep, the smooth flow of air over the wing is disrupted, leading to a loss of lift. To counteract this, the pilot must push the nose of the plane down, effectively reducing the angle of attack. This helps to restore the smooth airflow over the wings, thereby regaining lift. Now, on to speed. Lift is directly proportional to the square of the aircraft's speed. This means that when speed decreases, lift falls off rapidly. So to regain lost lift during a stall, the pilot must add power to increase the airspeed. This extra speed helps to generate more lift, allowing the aircraft to climb back up and out of the stall. These two actions, decreasing the angle of attack and increasing speed, work in tandem. As the angle of attack is reduced, the plane's speed increases, and vice versa. It's a delicate balancing act, one that pilots practice over and over until it becomes second nature. But remember, while these procedures are crucial, they are not the sole answer to a stall. The pilot must also maintain a steady hand on the controls, making smooth and deliberate movements to guide the aircraft back to stable flight. Having said that, it's important to remember that stalls are rare in commercial aviation. When they do occur, 
they are usually handled swiftly and professionally, thanks to rigorous training and advanced flight systems. With the right actions a skilled pilot can turn a potential disaster into a manageable situation. Stalls might sound terrifying but they're relatively rare in commercial aviation. The reason is simple, safety is paramount in the aviation industry, and there are numerous measures in place to prevent such incidents. Advanced aircraft design is one of the key factors in stall prevention. Modern planes are engineered with aerodynamic principles in mind, they are built to maintain lift even in challenging conditions, and their design allows for a smooth flow of air over the wings, reducing the likelihood of a stall. Technology, too, plays a crucial role. Cutting-edge systems are integrated into today's aircraft, helping pilots monitor and control the plane's angle of attack. These systems alert the cockpit if the angle becomes dangerously steep, giving the pilots ample time to adjust and prevent a stall. Moreover, stall prevention and recovery systems are now standard in modern aircraft. These systems are designed to assist the pilots in regaining control of the plane if a stall occurs. They can automatically adjust the plane's angle of attack and increase speed, helping the aircraft regain lift and prevent a potentially catastrophic descent. But perhaps the most crucial safety measure against stalls is rigorous pilot training. Pilots undergo intensive training to understand and respond to stall conditions. They're taught to recognize the signs of a stall and trained in the necessary steps to recover from it. This includes decreasing the angle of attack and increasing speed to regain lift. Furthermore, lessons from past incidents, such as the unfortunate Air France Flight 447 crash in 2009 have been incorporated into training programs. This ensures that pilots are prepared to handle even the rarest and most challenging of flight conditions. Thanks to these measures, flying remains one of the safest modes of transportation. The combined efforts of advanced aircraft design, sophisticated technology, and rigorous pilot training ensure that stalls remain a rarity in commercial aviation. So there you have it, the dramatic yet highly controlled world of airplane stalls. We've explored the heart-stopping moment when an aircraft loses lift, the mechanics behind this phenomenon known as stall, and the subsequent descent that follows, a situation that might sound terrifying but is well within the control of a well-trained pilot. We've understood that a stall is caused by a disruption in the airflow over the wings, usually when the angle of attack increases beyond a critical point. This leads to the wings losing their ability to generate lift, and the aircraft beginning to descend. The controls of the plane might become sluggish or less responsive during this time, adding to the complexity of the situation. But fear not, for our brave pilots are trained to handle such situations. They are taught to push the nose down to decrease the angle of attack and add power to increase speed, thus regaining the much-needed lift and recovering from the stall. It's a delicate balance but one that is mastered with rigorous training and practice. Furthermore we've learned that safety measures in modern aviation are robust. Advanced aircraft designs and technology including stall prevention and recovery systems are in place to assist the pilot. These measures coupled with the intense training pilots undergo make stalls a rare occurrence in commercial aviation. In the end, while the idea of stalls might be daunting, it's reassuring to know that the aviation industry has done its best to ensure the safety of its passengers and crew. It's a testament to the marvel of human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of safety in the face of adversity. Remember to like, subscribe, and share this video, and hit the bell icon for the latest updates on all things aviation. Until next time, keep your wings level and your curiosity high.